Bites. Today I thought we'd do a quick DIY video on these necklaces, these crystal jar necklaces that I mentioned on a Magic Monday video. Um, and I thought maybe you guys would want to know how to make them. It's pretty simple, but I thought it would be a nice little quick video. Also, I made a little besom, aka broom, and thought I would show you guys that as well. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, so here's the besom that I made. I even attached one of the little jars to it and put a little charm. Just like on the other necklace that we made, we put charms, my daughter and I. Um, this is just pipe cleaner right here. I just rolled it around. So this is what you're going to need to make the besom. These little bottles with the little hook on the top. I love that one, but there's also regular... Squarish kind of ones. These are like impossible to find. They were for me but anyway, but I found them at, I'm not sure, but I'm sure you can find them online or you really have to search the craft stores. Okay, so now that we have those, oh, and you're gonna need the same ones if you wanna put a charm on your besom. And then you're just gonna need some twine or string or something to tie things. Um, some pine needles I picked up from under the pine tree. Um, and then some pipe cleaners if you want. Uh, and a stick. So once you have all that ready, we can get started. We are going to do the little jar first in case we want to use it as a charm. You can be, um, they can be used as charms or necklaces. Okay. And even if you get them like this without the circle at the top, without the little jump bead at the top, you can even put one on yourself. Now these come with all different kinds of crystals. You can do use whichever ones um, you want to correspond with your intent. Like mine was for protection and you know banishing negativity and love. So I used tiger's eye, rose quartz, onyx, and regular quartz. And I find it kind of easier if you put it in something, paper. Impossible to get out unless you lift them up out of there and then push it through the back. Because they're in a box and then just a plastic thing. So if you push the back through, you can pop them right out. And these jars are awesome for after. I love them. And you don't even have to use crystals for afterwards. You can take the label off and just fill it with whatever you want. Adventuring. Usually the crystals stand for whatever color it is. So if you know your color correspondences, then you'll know what crystal stands for which intent. So I'm using green crystals for prosperity and money and gold. So after we use the gemstones, crystals, whatever you want to call them, and make the little bottle, that's the charm if you want to put it on the besom, or you can thread it onto one of these uh, cords. That's what I usually do. Here's mine. 
This is my empathic jar necklace. I think I showed you guys this one in one of the videos. There we go. Garnet is really good for empaths. And rose quartz, of course, for love. Carnelian for joy. And onyx for protection. And I just put it on to cord and tie it into a knot at the top. Like that with both strands. But if you don't want to use it as a necklace, you can put it onto the besom like we're about to do. So to make the besom. Okay, so once you make the jar, you're going to want to take the top off and super glue it so it can't be undone and the beads don't just spill out everywhere i usually just put some along the bottom So when you push it on to the jar, it sticks inside of it. These little keys from Michael's. So if you'd like to put that on the necklace as well as a charm, um, you can also slide it right on with the jar onto the cord. Uh, stick a couple inches. Maybe like six inches or so I don't know and you're gonna want to take pine needles this is the hardest part guys I promise I like to straighten them out and put them all the same way you see like these little balls on top where they're held together that's the top part that I put see the other end is just pointy This is the top. So line them all up together. Like this. So collect a good handful so that you can actually have some mass to it. Hold on, babies. Hold on. While you're doing this yet, but. Um, if you want, you can lay a piece of tape down, um, curl a little bit of one end under on this side, stretch it out, curl a little bit under on this side so it sticks to the surface, but the tape is still sticky on the top. And then you stick these onto it, and they all, you know, they're all together, and then you wrap it around the stick how you want it, and then peel the tape off, but that's kind of, um... Kind of uh, annoying to do as well, so. And you're going to want to have your twine ready so you can wrap it. Uh, probably want to do this ahead of time instead of like me. Cut your twine ahead of time. Lay it down. Okay, once you have a nice good bunch, you can either wrap it in the twine first and shove the stick down into it, or put the stick into the needles and squeeze around. Set it down on top of the twine. And wrap it. Push anyone's back 
in or down that messed up. Glue tight. And hold the knot. Then tie it again. As tight as you can. And then I like to wrap it around the back. Flip it over. Uh, make sure the needles are spread how you want them first so you don't tie it down with a bald spot or something like I just did. And flip it around back and pull the twine around there and tie it on this side. I like to do it in threes. And if you want to tie some kind of ribbon, if you want to trim the ends a little bit, I like when it looks a little crazy, but just a little trimmy trim. There we go. If you want some kind of ribbon, you can use regular dollar store ribbon or this from craft store ribbon. Any kind of ribbon you like, just whatever color corresponds with your intent or whatever color um, you like, it's up to you. I like black because it's um, banishing, banishes negativity. We're gonna put a charm, beads, anything you want really. Also this twine is from the dollar store. It comes in this color and green. Also if you're gonna put your um, charm on it, you could do so now. Just slide it on here onto the extra twine that's left over from the knot. Slide it on and tie it on that way. And if you're going to do another charm, slide that on now like a key. If you're having trouble, cut the twine on a slant so it can fit through whatever hole you're trying to get it through. Once you have your charms on, tie it in a knot. One, two, three. And 
fine. You can cut the excess off if you like. And then you can put whatever ribbon on you want. Instead of doing the pipe cleaners, if you want, you could even do ribbon here. But I feel that it gives it some stability and a place to put your hands. You can also glue underneath if you need to. Lay the ribbon down like before. Three is a magical number. Maiden Mother Crone, Father Son Sage, Land, Sea, and Sky. And then you can curl them up if you want. Just a bit. And the pipe cleaners. This is how I did this. Stick it on top. Roll it, roll it. I know. I did it on my finger, my pinky finger. Like this. Roll the top of it. And then push this part. Slide it onto the bezel. Mm -hmm. Push the top into here. Push the piece into the top of the stick and then roll it around as you're holding it. Pull it tight. And then the other piece is kind of decorative. Thank you. Make sure the little middle pieces are in so they don't poke you or anyone else. And the last piece I just try and snug under.
I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video <laughs> while my daughter plays some uh, background music for you. <laughs> Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. And remember, be blessed, be brave, and be beautiful. Bye, guys. Okay, focus. Focus. Okay. Um, I don't know if it was...